Welcome to Science, Health and Healing Encyclopedia of Children's Health Core. I'm Dr. Majid Ali. The subject of this article is Sugar Makes Cells Sticky. Sugar Makes Cells Sticky. Sugar of all types, fruit sugar, cane sugar, wheat sugar, and sugar and starches in grains, cereals, milk. Sugar in all forms makes all cells sticky. Now the easiest way for me to provide you the scientific proof of this statement is to publish photomicrographs of blood living blood, you take a drop of blood from a person, spread it on a microscopic slide, put it under a high phase, high resolution phase contrast microscope, and you can demonstrate that if a diabetic's blood sugar is 80, he's under good control, the blood cells are smooth, separated from each other, regular in contour, and they slide past each other freely. If you look at the blood of the same diabetic individual, when the blood sugar is 220, for example, you will see that the blood cells are all stuck to each other, or most of them are aggregated. The cell membranes are crinkled, they are deformed. That's the easiest way. But I want to suggest another image to you. When your blood cells are sticky because of too much sugar, they're, the cells in the brain are also sticky, the cells, heart muscle cells are also sticky, the endo cells lining the heart arteries are sticky, and those lining the kidney arteries are sticky, and the kidney cells are sticky, and the liver cells are sticky, and the bowel cells are sticky. The point is, if you can just see this image, that sugar makes cells sticky, you can understand so much. Now I have posted the pictures of healthy cells and sticky cells on kids123.org, that's the official websites of Children Health Core, as well as many articles on wiki-medical.org. For the professional viewers, I would recommend Integrative Cardiology and Chelation Treatment, which is the sixth volume of my 12 volume textbook of the principles and practice of integrative medicine. But I'm going to suggest that you go to kids123.org, K-I-D-S dot O-R-G, look at those pictures of healthy cells and sticky cells and show to your children, show to your teenagers. You know, the main threat that I see to the health of people all over the world, that people have been dumbed down when it comes to the science of nutrition and science of human health. The experts on television, newspapers, the American Medical Association, which unfortunately influences all medical associations in the world, they will not reveal to you in simple ways, which is easy for anyone to see. All what you need to do is to take a drop of blood. Let's say you take a three-year-old child in very good health. The blood cells are going to be healthy, non-sticky, smooth in outline, regular in contour. You take the same child, take a drop of the blood when the child has a bad flu or a bad allergic reaction, and it's going to be worse if the child has pneumonia, and you will see in one drop of blood hundreds of these clusters of cells which are stuck to each other. And then you can also see some of the cells are breaking down and some of the cells have already disintegrated. I have published more than 300 photomicrographs demonstrating these things in great detail. But I invite you to pass this information to your children. Go to kids, K-I-D-S, 123.org. Share this information with your children. Let's tear down these curtains of darkness 
which is the fear profiteers in disease maintenance system hang before us. No, they don't want you to know the basic, basic, basic facts of human nutrition, human health, the structure of the cells, of the healthy cell membranes, and the cell membranes when they are covered over with grease. There is so much riding on this simple facts of science. We invite you to consider a deeper level of understanding. Otherwise, you will keep saying, oh, nutrition science is so contradictory. One week they say one thing, and then the one next month they publish another article. Coffee is good, coffee is bad. You know, you need to have a deeper understanding so you can tell who is lying and who is reasonable, logical, and whose information is consistent with what you can directly observe with your own eyes, with or without a microscope. Thank you for joining us. Please do join us and support our vision. Forward this YouTube segment to all your contacts. Thank you so much. Thank you.